What's up guys, Demondre Douglas here, back with another video. Today we are going to set up a 5G mobile hotspot from T-Mobile. Um, they have different versions. This is the black one. I don't exactly know the model number. It's on here somewhere. However, the setup is the same no matter which device you have. I'm actually taking this one back because it works when it wants to and my dog chewed up the power cable to it so it definitely now only works when it wants to and of course t-mobile were nice enough to send me another one however i believe this one is a different one so if you just bought one of these and you want to know how to set it up you're in the right place we're gonna go start to finish. Ooh, a nice little T Mobile box. That out of the way. Alright, man, this thing is heavy. It is feels like it's definitely heavier than this one. But as you can see, these are two different ones. However, again, they do the same things. So, let's get in here and see what we got. G internet gateway quick start guide power adapter oh wow they give you the ethernet cable with this one the last one definitely did not come with an ethernet cable also that black one came from in store this one is the one they sent me when I ordered online first thing you're greeted with nice little pamphlet what are these stickers Start guide, high speed, yeah. uh, regulatory information, terms and conditions, which we should all read, but we never do. All right. Let's see. Yo, this is definitely way bigger and heavier. These are the two gateways, 5G gateways anyway, that you can get from T-Mobile right now. Again, we're gonna be setting up this one, but it's the same thing. Um, I don't have a preference as long as it works. I do like that this one has a screen on it. However, I feel like this bad boy might pull in more data. It's just bigger. And it's got a lot more vents. In the back here, we actually have two LAN ports. Um, oh, well, we have two in the back here as well. Let's see. The power on here is USB-C. The power on here is like your standard AC. So I know this one is going to be a little bit better. Um, two Ethernet ports on both sides. Is this a switch? A USB port and a UPS. Off and on button right here. Simple. Good job, T-Mobile. Let's see what else we have here. So yeah, this is awesome. So the gray one actually comes with um, the ethernet cable. Even though, to be honest with you, most of your modern laptops, this is an Asus 17.3 inch. Most modern laptops do not have an ethernet port. However, there is a USB port, so we're gonna try to 
see if we can get that connection that way. And I'm actually going to grab the box to this older one just to see if there's any difference. And I'm back. So this is the box to the black one. This is the box to the gray one. Both say 5G gateway. There's nothing on the front of the boxes that would let you know these are, that they do anything different. On the back, you can see here what's inside. And yeah, Ethernet cable, no Ethernet cable. Just wanted to make sure I wasn't tripping. Um, like I said, my dog did get to the box and the cable. Something he is very regretful for. And will never do again. Because I love him. And lastly, we got a charging brick. It's probably going to be 45 watts. Well, I know this one is 45 watts. This one is 48 watts. So I was right. It does draw more power. And trying to, there we go. So you can see right there, 48 watts. If this cable is to be destroyed, you will have to have at least, at least a 45 watt charger for it to power up. Otherwise, it will do nothing. So we're going to plug it into the power and I'm going to hook it up to the laptop and show you guys how to get up and running. And thankfully it's a pretty lengthy cord. It's about a 10 foot cable. So first thing you're gonna do is going to plug it into the wall Plug it into the gateway. It'd be cool if it had some lights on it to indicate. And then we're just gonna hit the power button. And to be honest with you, it really should be that simple. So we're gonna give it just a second and we're going to search for the Wi-Fi. Let me bring the screen over here. I want you to see step by step exactly what you should be doing. You're gonna go to your settings. Wherever you get your Wi-Fi, wherever your Wi-Fi networks are, you're gonna find your Wi-Fi. You're gonna turn it on, you're gonna let it search. And let's see, this one, the name of the network, which you can find the name of your network on the white information tab. It will be either on the bottom or the back of the device. And so it's T-Mobile O2AA. So we're going to look over here and see, do we see O2AA. I do not. Hey, remember I mentioned the screen? Look at that, guys. The screen is on top of the device. Is it touch screen? Yes, it's touch screen. Connection, we have four bars. And it has appeared right here. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Okay, so as you can see, we were looking for O2AA, and O2AA is right here. So you're gonna need to find that name on your device, cut on your Wi-Fi, and you're going to go click on it. Once you click on it, you're going to be greeted with the password screen, and you're just gonna, again, 
go to your device, look on the bottom of it. The SSID is the name. The key is your password. So we're going to type this in and hit enter and all should be well. And I like to click show password just so I can make sure I entered the correct information. And we're going to hit connect. And that's it, guys. You are connected to the internet. As you can see, right here, there we go. We are now connected. So lastly, before we leave off, I wanna run a speed test real quickly, just to see what type of speed this thing is pulling down. I actually have the speed test app. Gonna hit go, and we're hoping for like at least three, four hundred megabytes a second. And awesome, it's exactly as I thought. Should be getting between. Well, you should be getting 300 or better, to be honest with you, period, with the 5G, depending on your area. I'm here in Atlanta, in the heart of Atlanta, near downtown, so I'm not going to lie. I pretty much get excellent coverage. Um, if we check the results here, I did the speed test with the original box, with this black box. And I only pulled down 115. So the gray one pulled down double. So in my opinion, well, I'm going to be biased to the gray one anyway because the, uh, the black one gave me issues. However, these things can change depending on where you are in your home, what city you're in, and your general coverage. But that's it, guys. Once you do that, you are good to go. Um, that's 5G is fast enough to game, stream, uh, whatever it is that you enjoy doing. Just pulling up a couple apps, just to, that's pretty fast. Just to see how fast it'll load a movie. The Terrifier was, eh, it's cringeworthy. Yeah, man, that's pretty damn fast. And don't mind me. What do you think that guy did in there? Who knows? It was a Netflix and chill night. I don't even really watch scary movies, but whatever. Anyway, guys, if you learned anything, if you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. You can head over to Facebook and look me up, Demandre Douglas. You'll see the same profile picture. I'm always posting new videos every day. And I hope to continue to bring you guys some good content. We are on our way to 100,000 views, and I appreciate you guys. Peace.